Right guys, back for another Dokkan Battle video. And today we'll be covering the part 2 celebration details. This video will probably go out later than uh, its intended release time, but uh, there's not really much I can do about that. Uh, I also think it's just a good opportunity to take a look at some of the part 2 uh, celebration details. And it's very interesting as to what we could see. So, for starters, we just have the regular extended missions. Uh, I've already gone over the missions in a separate video, so I'll just link that if you want to go ahead. And check that out but you know with your regular part two missions they're just extra rewards such as elder kai's the rainbow super thank you tickets uh regular tickets 70th anniversary coins etc etc i think with regards to the rainbow super thank you tickets they should probably go live uh if not during the legendary summon banner for part two uh, if not then definitely part three but i think once the lr banners the part two lr banners drop that's when uh the rainbow super thank you ticket banners will also drop uh, the next thing is the co-op campaign missions. Of course, we had the first set, which debuted in part one. Uh, we now have the second set uh, in part two here. That's actually interesting. They're using the active skill asset for the physical LR Blue Kai Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta unit. So uh, here are the part two co-op campaign missions. Very similar to last time. Um, there are two different sets of missions, a team ranking missions and then individual ranking missions and of course for each mission you clear you uh clear one of these ranks right i believe i'm currently on rank five if not i've already completed that so as you just complete stages uh you'll accumulate and complete those missions so what you're seeing right here are just the individual missions so just clear any stage once clear any stage five times ten times and all the way up to 50 times and you get all of these rewards uh, and then this is the, again, ranking rewards, right? So if you end up one, two, or three, in terms of the individual rank, you'll get a sticker, two regular Kai's, five of the 30% 30 30 chance to raise an SA Elder Kai, or Kai. And then uh, we have three Hercule statues, and then so on and so forth. Um, so I suppose we can actually quickly take a look at those as well. If we just click the button at the bottom here, so... This will take us to the mission screen. Of course, you can cycle through your regular missions and then these co-op campaign missions. So if you click this button here, um, these are the individual missions. I've completed all of the 50 individual missions for now, which is good because I've still got six days, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then this button at the top is the team mission. So overall, I believe you get put into uh, a certain amount of uh, teams. I say teams, but in each team, there's a certain amount of uh, players. Looks like for my grouping i have a group of 22 players which is interesting i'm currently 30 right now which is nice um and it seems so far as a unit we've collected oh, i say we've collected but we've completed 414 missions or in this case we've completed 414 different stages out of that total 500 again this page just goes to show you your ranking rewards your individual ranking rewards and then this uh tells us the ranking for the team so we again we've only got the final rank to complete which is nice uh, and at this point i am a rank three so still got some ways to go but um that's pretty nice let's just cycle back to the news here after this uh loads uh there we are that's not that's the w do confess that is not what i wanted to click on i wanted to click on this uh so now we're back on the news the next thing to talk about are the the free free to play events uh, we can now Doken Awaken uh, all of these units, so we can Doken Awaken the Chi-Chi into a Chi-Chi and Goku. We can Doken Awaken the Vegeta into a Vegeta and Bulma, and then the Gohan and Goten Doken Awaken into an LR, which also includes Trunks. Now, uh, it's very, fairly obvious, I think, from all three of the LRs that they are going to get an easy A. Uh, they're very, they seem very basic. Uh, there's a lot of beefing up that they could probably do with an easy A, so... That's always nice, and it goes. And of course, those easy A's will happen in part three. Uh, we have plenty of time to farm these units as well, so don't worry if you're concentrating on other things with your stamina. Uh, so currently, these actually easy A's are live right now, and I've already completed uh, all of them. So we have the Gogeta and Omega easy A. The weakness is Shadow Dragon Saga, uh, and something to point out with both of these stages is that from stage twenty and onwards, for both stages, there is a special OST playing in the background. So for the GT-related easy A event. Dan Dan, the Dragon Ball GT intro, uh, plays in the background, and then for the Super Saiyan God Easy A, um, the Blizzard theme song from Dragon Ball Super Broly plays. I think I was actually pointing at the wrong thing, but yeah, this is the actual Dokkan Awakening, I said Dokkan Awakening, but the Easy A banner, we'll take a look at that in a second. 
and these are the two easier events. So again, from stage 20 onwards, um, the special OSTs play. Uh, for this GT easier event, Shadow Dragon Saga is the weakness, and then for the top one, the Super Saiyan God easier. Pure Saiyans is the category weakness, so that should be fairly easy to take down. This is what I was pointing to earlier, the Gogeta and Omega uh, Easy A banner. Uh, I would probably recommend not summoning on the banner. Uh, I still think the current Dokkan Fest banners are just so much more lucrative, so I would probably direct the users to spend their stones here. But this isn't, I suppose, too bad of a banner, uh, just because it's it's quite highlighted, right? You got Gogeta, you got Omega, you got, you got God Goku, and then God Vegeta, and then the rest are just featured SRs who don't really affect the SSR pull rate. I believe actually in terms of the red coins, I believe Gogeta and Omega are like 400 red coins. So your regular Dokkan Fest unit price, which is interesting because uh, I feel like for the most part, some of these older EZAs, they cheapen down to 150, but uh, I actually can't remember if uh, these category lead EZAs like your Tech Hit, your Into Ai Goku, Physical Future Gohan, who have uh, already received the EZA, whether they were 400 in terms of their red coin cost, or whether they're 150 so um that is something uh, to point out uh, if we just go back into the new section here looking beyond the easy a's um dokkan also dropped stages three and four for both the gt edition and the movie boss edition for the ultimate red zone i've already completed one of them uh, i'm probably going to complete a few more or attempt to complete a few more after this video so uh, that's pretty nice these stages are actually very very difficult so bear that in mind. We also have new additions to the GT Legendary Goku event and the Legendary Vegeta event. I believe uh, the GT Legendary Goku event has received the GT Bosses and GT Heroes category mission. So you have to complete that stage with those two teams. And then the Legendary Vegeta event has picked up two additional missions, much like the, the GT Legendary Goku event in Margin Power and then Super Saiyan 2, so those uh, should hopefully keep everyone busy. And this is the interesting part, uh, of course there are no teasers or anything like that for now, um, but the Part 2 Legendary Summon Banner has been announced in the news. We have no clue as to who it will be, we have no clue as for the date, but typically um, the banners usually go live once the sales refresh, so I'm expecting uh, the banners to go live. Let's see, are there any... Is there a date given here? The 16th? Yeah, I think the 16th is probably when we will most likely see it. The 15th, 16th, or 17th. In fact, there has been a announcement from the JP Doke on Twitter that there will be a live stream on the 15th. I don't know if it's like 15th in the evening or like on the 16th in the morning. Uh, in fact, I'll probably just attach a screenshot somewhere here. But that will happen as well. So I presume that is where we'll get a lot more part two information. Of course, we'll get the brand new LRs. We may even get animations. Um, I'm also presuming that we could see EZA information. Maybe they even tease who the next EZA will be for part three. Uh, but again, that remains to be seen. Uh, and then after that, we just have your regular stuff. Okay, well here's okay. Yeah, so here's the Elder Kai uh, stuff. The Elder Kai banner refreshes on the 17th. So maybe we actually see it on the 17th, the part two banner. Yeah, I think that's quite possible. Yeah, that, that is actually quite possible. And then, of course, starting from the 11th, uh, on the weekend, we'll have the weekend mission, so I believe you can grab a lot, loads of stones as well as other Elder Kai. So, um, we still don't know what the theme for the Part 2 banner is. Um, a lot of people are thinking Full Power Broly and Omega. I'm thinking not, just because this overall theme celebration is Goku and Vegeta. I suppose I could spin it and say, well, Goku and Vegeta for Broly and Goku and Vegeta for Omega. So that's why they're the Part 2 LR banners. Uh, but I think we could see some sort of... Um, Maybe another Goku and Vegeta LR. I mean, it's tough to say. Like, I really don't know who they would include as your Part 2 LRs. Just know that, like, typically these Part 2 LR units are always really wonky. Uh, they're, they're usually joined forces type uh, units as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the Part 2 news for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Part 2. Uh, the stones are just coming in. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.